Hello peeps, this is the Hillbilly Harfwick here guys and today what we got is one of my favourite detectors I originally bought it for my missus it's a Nocta Legend and i got to be honest I really enjoy using this thing as you know first time out with it on a dig I found a gold sovereign, a half gold sovereign and an axe head and absolutely love this thing I've shown you on some videos before. I basically haven't done anything to it. It's on the original setting that come with it. I haven't updated it at all. It's 09, I think it is, the setting. Uh, really enjoy it. The headphones are the best headphones I've had on any metal detector, wireless headphones. They just fit perfect. They last a long time. Don't give you a headache. Simple to use. Love this detector. I've actually got my thing I bought for the Equinox 900 on there to keep the screen clean because it fits it perfectly but what this video is about today is I bought a new coil for it now I notice when I go to these digs these days because there's so many metal detectors on there lots of them have got these uh, uh 900s or they've got these uh oh, I can't remember the name of it now the, the one above the 900 um absolutely phenomenal detectors to be fair and if you're going around following them things with a big coil on you you can forget it they are finding everything to, uh, well anyway I, I am so impressed with this metal detector I thought I'm gonna try the LT35 coil on it which is a 13.5 by 12.5 coil and it's quite a little, quite a bit bigger. It's going to be a little bit heavier, but as you can see, shoot, sorry, I'm filming my phone. It's quite a bit bigger, and it'll be a little bit heavier. But I use a sling anyway, and I want to try this thing out with a bigger coil on because there is phenomenal depth on it anyway with this coil. And I'm not a big fan of big coils, as I, as you know, with lots of the things I use. I've got a big coil for my Equinox, which does go a lot deeper. But I find it a lot harder to pinpoint with the targets. And uh, I just don't find it as accurate as an 11-inch coil. Now, this coil here, I think it's an 11-inch or a 10-inch, 10 and a half maybe, that came in originally with it. Cracking coil, cannot fault it. Nice and light, very quick. Uh, just hope this one, this one looks a big, good bit heavier to me. But uh, it'll cover a lot more ground. And it'll be interesting to see if you can just get to a bit more depth, a little bit nearer to uh, some of these really top the range detectors. I cannot remember the name of that detector that's just above this, the Mine Lab 900. Matty's got one. They are phenomenal detectors, fair play. It just is too much money for me. So, what I decided to do was to try and have this coil uh, and try it out, like you said. Hopefully. This should be good. Should be good. It's a good bit bigger. And it says in the thing that this coil will not work with the simplex software versions prior to 2.76. Be sure this that your device is updated. So, um, will not work. So, there we are. Well, this is a legend, so we should go straight on it, hopefully. So, hopefully, I can put that straight on there without updating the software. Because I like the software that's on it already. It's an 09 software on it. I think so they're one of the first bunches of software so why alter anything when it's working perfectly so we will see what this is going to be like it's built a good bit stronger good bit bigger it should be a little bit heavier but that hopefully cross fingers it'll be worth having so this is just my metal detecting friends all the best guys ta-da